Hey guys, welcome to a brand new planner flip. Well, let's say goodbye to, oh my God, look at this chunkiness. <laughs> this is a an A6 Stology 365, look at that. Chunky. Um, let's do a flip. Let's close One Book July with a glimpse at my monthly and a lovely note from Heather. Um, these are weeklies. Look at me. Um, I saw this layout from an Instagram person and then um, instead of a note section, I decided to add my um, vitamin tracker at the bottom with my dot marker. There I am explaining that it is Sunday and I am editing my vlog, which um, I hope you watch my vlogs. I have a lot of fun filming those. Um, I've only made a few. Uh, when did I start? April? And we're in August now, so yeah. Those are fun. Here I am setting up my monthly. Um, this is sped up uh, to like two, two times. So it's, it's pretty accurate. Um, it takes me a long time to go back and forth because I, I always want to double check that I'm on the right uh, line and such. Because I'm lazy and I don't actually want to count the spaces. <laughs> Shouldn't make like a key for myself or something. Um, but I wanted to spare you guys. And then here I am checking to make sure what days this month uh, starts and ends. How many days of the month. My mom used to have this song in Spanish that reminded you of like how many days each month had. I never memorized it. I would always like jokingly make her sing it over and over again. Um, and never memorized it. Whoops. So I have to keep looking back. Um, and then now I have the, uh, the uh, what do you call it? The dates on the top. I don't know what I'm checking. Oh, I'm checking to make sure my spacing is accurate. You know, a certain amount of space. I don't know. God forbid. I don't. I think I messed it up at some point. And then I end up having to... Yep, it is. I messed up the spacing between Tuesday and Wednesday. I am a sucker for consistency. Um, I don't end up using a lot of whiteout, actually. I'm really proud of myself, especially now. The last time I bought one, I think this might have been like one, uh, like in my first vlog. Freaking whiteout cost me like five dollars. I was so upset. I also didn't buy it at like I could have bought it at a Dollar Tree or something like that. No, I went to CVS of all places. I think I just happened to be there. Um, here are all the numbers. Nothing fancy. I'm using my 0.5 um, Sakura Zebra clip in brown ink. The other two laying on my desk are same brand, only a 0.3 and then a 0.7. I write the most with the white one, so um, I like the white barrel. Uh, I did not like the white ink. For white ink, I am forever faithful to my Uniball um, Signo Broad, um, yeah, and then I've got my little Habonichi, uh, stencils on the side, we'll use those later, later, um, but I think for August, I'm gonna give it a rest, I don't think I'm gonna use it in the month of August, it looks really nice and everything, um, but it's just been, like, one extra thing, <laughs> Uh, I haven't done a voiceover in a long time, so this is, especially for a planner video, so I hope this is fun. There you go, monthly setup. Um, I want to go back at some point and decorate, um, a couple of months, uh, a couple of my monthly views are, like, pretty bare. Alright, here's for the artsy crafty portion of this video. Um, I do a splash page most months. I say most months because I think this, the spacing for a couple of my months have been off. So, um, just to save 
space or whatever. Um, I haven't done a splash page, but this month I decided, I was like, oh, am I going to paint something? I haven't touched my watercolors in a while. I also don't necessarily want to do art in this journal, but I was just like, but I have this page and I don't want it to be just like bare. And then I'm always feeling guilty about my lack of washi tape use. Um, I don't consider myself to have, no, I do. I have a lot, um, even by planner community standards. Um, I have three loosely packed uh, of those, you know, three drawer containers from Michaels that everybody has. I have three of those. Um, so yeah, so I have, I, have a, a, I have a lot of washi and not like a lot. I have, I have more than anybody should have. Anyways, that's neither here nor there, but the point is I'm always feeling guilty because I never use any of it, especially in the way I've been planning. The only washi in this particular planner literally is the washi that I'm using to create the tabs. And that happens to be my own washi, um, which I love. <laughs> my Sakura um, washi, I'm very proud of it. I have a lot of it and I'm a fan. So also loving how all the tabs are like ombre because that's how I designed it. Um, so I decided to grab some of my uh, favorite Simply Gilded washies and do something with this page. So that's what I'm doing. And this is sped up um, a little bit faster because this took me like 40 minutes. I, we were watching TV, of course. Um, wondering what we were watching. We were watching the Paper Girls on Prime. Um, I say we because uh, the kids were watching with me. Um, it was cute. We like adventure shows, especially with like kids, you know, after Stranger Things and the Goonies. I mean, you know what I mean? That's the genre. Anyways, um, so yeah, so at some point I decide not to add any more because uh, I was doing like a, like a thicker one and then a thin one and then a thicker one and then a thin one. Anyways, at some point I was just like, it's getting a little crazy. So I decided to stop and just start repeating it and it worked out. Um, I'm very much enjoying the look of it. It's something different for this journal. Uh, I attempted one of these in an A5 journal once and I got bored. <laughs> and I had left it halfway, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is where I'm just like, ah, oh, I love this other one. It looks like lace, but as much as I wanted to add another one, I was just like, it's starting to get a little crazy. So, uh, yeah, here I go repeating. This is not a Simply Gilded one, actually. The, these, uh, like, Gilded Peonies, it's, like, from AC Moore. Uh, they just happen to be in the same drawer, and uh, I like the look of them together, so... It doesn't have to make sense to anybody else but me. <laughs> um, yeah, it was fun doing this. I haven't done it in a while. Like I said, played with washi, period. So, um, you know, just ripping mercilessly is fun. Oh, gosh. What else do I talk about now? <laughs> um, I don't know when you're watching this, but today happens to be um august 1st 2022 uh we are celebrating Pol national planner day so if you are a planner you know congrats if you're watching this video i'm pretty sure you are a planner of some sort or you're planning on being one welcome um decorating your planner with washi just for the fun of it why not You know, once it's done, though, does it not look super cool? Like, when I was doing it, I was just like, oh my god. <laughs> it just, it gets tedious after a while. Um, thank goodness this is a small journal. And then, God forbid, you put one crooked and you notice. Yeah, there we go. All set and done. 
Now for the ruler tear. Um, of course you could go in there with a, a knife and just like chop them all off at the seam. But I didn't feel like doing, I don't, why did I, this is just so much more satisfying. Just, just fun. <laughs> Uh, I cannot share the, I wish this was like ASMR, but uh, we were watching the show, like I said, so volume was pretty loud. Fun show. Oh, if you've watched it, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you've watched that show or, or what you're watching. So that way we have something to watch next. Uh, the girls in love and I love a marathon or like, you know, binging on shows. Um, Okay, here we go. Here's the fun part. Next, we get to cut the edges. Um, I'm kidding. I think this is the most nerve-wracking part because I don't want to cut the page. And for whatever reason, like, everything's just sticky and annoying. If we fast forward to the end, everything works out just fine. I promise. How are you guys? I don't. I don't know what else to say. This is... Uh, sticking longer than I had planned for. Um, no, I'm kidding. Um, are you enjoying my new planner style? Because I'm, I'm shaking, like, as we speak in my head, I'm already planning um, for next year. I have a rough idea what I want to do. It's going to be different yet again. Um... It's gonna look different. I don't know exactly how, but um, I don't. I promised myself, what was it, last year or the year before, that I would not get stuck in the same size like for too long. Um, I feel like I I was done with A5 a lot longer than um, before I I switched to A6. So I I have a lot of sizes and formats to explore. And I want to get to the export. Look at that. It's just shiny. Like, it's not <clears throat> my style, but still, I, th I find it pretty. So it's going to be nice to, like, run into this page every so often. Just be like, hello. <clears throat> Alrighty. Next, let us uh, plan this week. And, uh, yes, let us plan this week. Now, there's still a lot of um, shuffling to pages from before because you know you got to keep it consistent <laughs> so I'm like I'm liking this um this format um but technically it's horizontal however it's split down the middle of the horizontal so that like you write super super small and I am okay with that because it's it's a mixture of planning and memory keeping but um Instead of like using stickers or drawing uh, like I have previously, I'm keeping pretty decent record of like my day, but um, by using like lettering. So with the three, with three different um, size pens, I get line variation. And, and then I also do like, you know, a couple different kinds of fonts and stuff. And that's, that's more than enough um, space for what I needed to be right now. I've never been a great journaler. Like I've done challenges and I've tried certain months to like sit there and, you know, write out my thoughts. And when I need to, you certainly see that I'll make, you know, time and space for it. Um, if I have like, you know, I'm, if you've watched other videos, you've seen my little scribbles, but, um, I'm getting a lot of my, first of all, the summer's going really nicely and we're coping with stress by, you know, being, um, doing all of our favorite things, going to the lake, seeing the duckies grow, um, just, you know, grounding ourselves in nature and having picnics or whatever. Um, and a lot of that creative energy is going into my summer, summer journal. 
and because of the looseness of the art going on in that particular journal and that style then um that takes care of like the same some may argue that it's not the same and i get you it's not exactly the same but in my brain it's the equivalent that's probably the better word um for me drawing it out with marker and being really loose with my style is um a vacation for my brain and my arm of what i usually do or what you guys may be thinking you're used to seeing me do with the watercolor which is very um it, there's detail work in there and there's a a control you know like your your arm my particular arm isn't as isn't loose it's you know it's tight i'm i'm focused on creating something and with the marker since it's just like memory for my it's a time capsule for me i don't find myself like restricted or tight and tense and all that kind of stuff here I'm adding my tracker, just in case you were wondering why. Um, I've had it, um, I've tried tracking my, this is this is me tracking my vitamins and my um, fiber. Um, so there's three dots per day. Uh, and as the day goes, you know, I mark which ones I've had. Um, it's been working out really well. I think uh, we'll soon be starting like, month three of this and i've been yeah i've been really really consistent which is great i don't know if it's the tracker or just the fact that i have alarm set up and i'm taking you know each one with a different meal so like um habit stacking if you've read atomic habits which i am proud to say i have a uh, big fan of that book shout out to atomic habits um Anyways, um, yeah, I've created a really healthy habit of just eating my meal and hearing the alarm, eating the meal, and um, and that stuff. So there it is. There's this week, this month, and the splash page. Mm -hmm.